those gears are like so. Coach D, I'm Karibi Didi, um, I'm the head football coach. I'm from originally from Woodbridge, Virginia. I've met a bunch of you guys. I went to school down in Auburn, Alabama. That's where I went to college at. Got my bachelor's, my master's, and my PhD down there. We're gonna work to put together a great program. The majority of my kids are not going on to play in the NFL. The majority of them are not going on to play college ball, but they are going to college. So school is paramount. It comes before winning on Friday night. It comes before everything. Sean Hand, he's actually rated the number one player in the country, and that's going to bring a lot of attention to our school. It's going to bring a lot of notoriety. It's going to bring a lot of recruitment to our student athletes. It's a benefit in every possible way for a, a high school program to have that opportunity. I'm excited this is home for me, um, and I'm excited because football starts tomorrow. I don't know how it was last year, but I heard a lot of guys say it was like disorganized or it was chaotic or whatever. We're not going to do that, okay? Good. I grew up with my Good. brothers. I had three brothers, one sister. Me, my brother Soso, my brother Bernie, they taught me how to play football. You know, it was funny. We had a backyard that was this huge open field. My two older brothers would always say, come play football. But when they were seven and eight, I was about four and I was a little bit, you know, not ready to play football with them. So. They throw the football to me, and the first time I didn't run, my brother, my oldest brother, he just wham, just knocked me out. And I just tried to run in the house. He's like, nah, nah, and he threw me the ball again, and I caught it. And he came running at me again, and I just juked him and got out the way. And my other brother came running at me, and I got out the way and took off running. And uh, that's how I learned to play football. You know, if they caught me, I was getting hit, so I just didn't let him catch me. As he runs Indy, if that DN crashes, he's going to pull it. He's going to dash, and if the backer's coming, he's going to slick it to you right now but it put me in sort of a position where kind of have like an example of like how to catch the ball, how to run the ball. So I kind of, you know, grew up in a household loving brothers and sister and my mom, she worked a lot. My dad and her split in 85, 86 when my sister was born. My mom raised us on her own and just taught us high standards and values and the value of education. She initially gave me that foundation that I don't know if a lot of kids, I know a lot of kids don't get. Part of my trouble in high school was I didn't understand that the academic side was just as valuable, if not more valuable to me coming out. I was always able, I can do it, I just never applied myself. And a lot of kids say that, I watch kids now, they say that, but I'm like, man, don't take that chance. If you don't make it, it'll only be you to blame. Defense is where my love of the game is, my passion for the game. And that's, you know, one of the things that's special about coaching Deshaun Hand is the fact that he's so academically motivated. <laughs> probably won't want me to say this, but I think he's almost a little bit on the nerdy side <laughs> where he has friends, tons of friends and everything, but he also um, gets excited about, like he was showing me one of his projects in engineering, like he gets so excited about little things like that. He has a little marble which goes down an inclined plane into a screw and a swing boom. So his focus is not just on sports, it's very much on his academics and what he wants to do for his future. No, we never expected to take off the way that it took off. You know, yeah, surprised that, you know, it, it, the media and all the coverage and, you know, how popular and how big he grew. But at the same time, you know, I, I don't think it couldn't happen to a person more deserving of it. Keep a nappy up top. You don't even got to touch the top for real, for real. You ain't cutting the top? No. These past couple days, it's like media, media, media. Oh, you know I'm committing November 14th. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I already put it out on Twitter and everything. So everybody been blowing me up about that. He has all the intangibles to be a tremendous elite defensive end at the next level and a high, high character kid, too. What more can you say about the number one player in the country, Deshaun Hand? Deshaun Hand can fill a highlight reel with some of his defensive plays. In college, we see him as a defensive end and wreaking havoc on opposing offenses. And he doesn't know how good he is, and that's the thing that drew me to him. 
I saw his freshman film, and he had one offer, I think, at the time, and his film was unbelievable. And I knew he was going to get 50, 60, 80 offers.